The Library of Congress now holds every tweet posted in the company's first four years of existence. Yes, all of them. KTVU and NY1 explain. It's taken four years to hit 21 billion tweets, but now the Library of Congress will be archiving and indexing all of them. The Library of Congress is not clear on how the ongoing archive will be used. Twitter is donating its entire archive to the library. The library says it has collected about 170 billion public tweets from Twitter since the first one was posted in 2006. The project was started in April 2010 when Twitter and the library teamed up to create the archive. The library reports they now have received all of the tweets from 2006 to 2010. In all, that's approximately 170 billion tweets, totaling 133.2 terabytes for two compressed copies. The Library of Congress might have all that information, but BuzzFeed reports they don't really seem to know what to do with it. In fact, it appears that the federal institution, famed for its preservation of physical documents, has bitten off more than it can technically chew on, a big data project of immense scope and expense. However, the Library of Congress said in its blog this venture really shouldn't be that surprising because they aren't just about books. They've been collecting web-based material since 2000. Today we hold more than 167 terabytes of web-based information, including legal blogs, websites of candidates for national office, and websites of members of Congress. And the reasoning for not making the completed archive accessible to the public? Because of the volume of tweets, as of now, it could take up to 24 hours to search for a term in the archive, which Mashable says, quote, isn't a workable option. Mashable also says once the Library of Congress does come up with a reasonable way of searching the archive, don't expect any average Joe to have easy access. The library has agreed not to make most of the archive easily downloadable on its website, and researchers must agree not to use the data in the archive for commercial purposes in order to gain access to it. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs. Multiple sources, a real story.